Hi YouTube, today I'm going to show you the way I do like a special mask that really helps cleanse my pores. I actually learned about this um, from the blog Fitty Shades of Snail, which has a lot of useful beauty tips. So first, you want to cleanse your face if you've already done anything to your skin. I use the Illume Cleansing Oil. You can buy it on Amazon pretty easily. It smells really nice. You can use any, any cleansing oil. This one is mineral oil based, which I found works really nicely on my skin. But there are other options out there too. I like to let it sit a little bit before washing it off because um, it feels like it really helps, like, helps absorb everything. And you want to have your skin be pretty clean before you apply the mask so that it can be clean. After you've dried your face, um, you can apply a BHA. My favorite to use is salsic acid. You can use any. I like the, the Corsix one. I don't know if that's <laughs> um, but I've found it works really well. Um, a lot of people online recommend it as well. It's supposed to be pH balanced nicely for your skin. So I'll usually do a few pumps of that. You probably want to avoid the under eye area because it can be pretty sensitive. After you apply it, you'll want to wait like 20 minutes to really let it soak in. Um, what it's going to do is it's going to go into your pores and break down um, anything that might be stuck there. Um, so if you have any blackheads or um, anything that's just a little congested, um, it's going to get in there um, and start breaking it down. Um, and you want to give it time to work. If you do it too quickly, I've done it before when I've been in a rush um, and it doesn't pull out as much as it usually does. So it's really important to give, to give your skin enough time to let soak in and break everything down. For the clay mask itself, I like to use Aztec Secret. Uh, the name is a little weird. Um, I could have chosen something a little better. It works really nicely. It's a bentonite clay, um, which does a really good job of just like sucking stuff up. And it's basically like a, a vacuum for your pores. And I mix it with apple cider vinegar, which because it's a little acidic, it reacts with the clay, which is a little more basic. And together it forms like a really smooth mixture. Some people mix it with water, but I've found when I do that, it makes the whole mixture just a little more clumpy. So you wanna apply it in a relatively thin layer all over your face. After you apply it, you want to let it sit again for 20 to 30 minutes. It'll start to get really hard and eventually it'll be really difficult to move your face too, which can be sort of funny. And it'll start cracking as well as it dries. So I'll check back in with you guys once it's a little more dry. <laughs> take off the mask, your skin is probably going to be pretty red, that's really normal. Um, part of it is it's just like increasing blood circulation, so, which is a good thing for your skin anyway. After you take it off, you want to dry your skin and then get, definitely make sure for this one that it's an oil-based cleanser because 
it's going to, um, basically what happens is the ciliac acid gets into your pores and starts breaking down all of the oil and the clay mask comes in and starts pulling that out. And then this oil cleanser will take all of the loosened milk in your pores and bring it to the surface. So again, you wanna do a few pumps of this and just leave it on your skin for like five minutes or so. Let it sit a little bit and then You'll want to wash it off. As you wash it off, you'll feel all of these little, like, gritty pieces come out of your pores, which feels really weird, but it's very satisfying. After you're done rubbing your face to get all the stuff out, you just wash it off with water. This will probably be red for a little bit, um, and then after that, um, you'll be able to have your nice clean pores. <laughs> <laughs>